Tracy Nassau, wife. In the heart of Greater Accra, where the garden made traditions round deep and the spirit of community thrives, I met a man who would forever change the course of my life. Over two decades ago, during a humble donation event, our paths crossed, and, so, and little did I know that this encounter would blossom into a lifetime of love, support, and companionship. Iti Mensa, my beloved husband, was not just a pillar of strength for me, but also for the many lives he touched. His love was boundless, his care unwavering, and his support unparalleled. As a father, he was the beginning of hope and discipline, guiding our children with wisdom and love. As a husband, he stood by my side, supporting my dreams and aspirations, celebrating my successes, and holding my hand through the challenges. His humility was one of his most admirable traits. In a world where many seek recognition and applause, E.T. Mensah was content in his high dedication to his principles and values. He was a man who held his name in high regard, never allowing it to tarnish by compromise or deceit. His love for reading the Bible was a testament to his deep faith and his belief in accepting and loving others just as they are. I often reflect on the teachings of my revered eminent daughter evangelist, Enote Mensa, who was a beacon of humanity, straightforwardness, and discipline. He taught us the importance of staying true to oneself, of valuing one's name, and of living a life of integrity and purpose. To Ghana, our beloved nation, E.T. Mensa was a true son. He never misused his position, always striving to make his country proud. He believed in using his name for a greater good, in service to his people and his land, Ghana. In return, embraced him, valuing his honesty, his dedication, and his unwavering commitment to his project. In the days leading up to my beloved husband's passing, our lives were enveloped in the world of hope and despair, marked by fleeting moments of joy and prolonged bouts of agony. Our journey began with an unexpected rush to the University of Ghana Medical Center, followed by an urgent trip to South Africa, fueled by his unwavering trust in the doctor's day. His hopeful spirit upon our departure were a brief respite in our ordeal. The flight to South Africa was an episode filled with drama, the details of which are too painful to recount. Upon arrival, his condition necessitated immediate specialist attention, leading to his admission. During his hospitalization, there were moments of deep connection and profound sadness. Each morning, I would find solace in his presence, singing hymns together, his favorite Methodist hymns due to one which he prefers to sing the God version, Guide me, O thou great Jehovah. Witnessing the joy, comfort it brought him, this moment captured in videos I now hold dear seemed to signal a recovery as he gradually regained his strength, recognizing me by the touch of my hand. The doctors were optimistic, suggesting improvements with each passing day. However, our hope was short-lived. A call from the hospital, mirroring the one received two weeks prior to about his breathing difficulties, shattered my world. Rushing to his side, I found him back on ventilator. A hurrying sigh that marked the sadness, the saddest day of my life. Against all odds, he began to show signs of recovery again, responsive to my voice and touch, filling me with the joyous belief that he was getting better. We even shared a light-hearted moment when he corrected my reading of Psalm 91, a testament to his enduring spirit and talent. But faith had other plans. On the eve of his passing, he requested I read Psalms 91, 1 to 1, and 23. The following day, I was away. I received the devastating call. Rushing back to the hospital, I was met with the unbearable truth. My husband, my love, my everything had slipped away. 
the void he left is immeasurable, leaving me with the memories of our trips to South Africa, his loving calls of honey, and the unwavering faith that he now rests in a better place, building a home for us to reunite. As I stand here with a heart heavy with grief, but filled with gratitude, I remember the man who was my rock, my confidant, and my friend, my best friend. In his legacy, I find strength, and in his memory, I find solace until we meet again. Rest in eternal peace, my beloved. You will forever be missed, but your spirit will be born in my heart. Yee Papa. Yeah, I was on the